Hello lads and welcome to episode 7 of the Ingolstadt career mode. In the last episode we had a bit of a downfall despite facing some good opponents. The performances just weren't good enough. We found ourselves sliding down the table to 6th place which isn't bad. I would have took that this stage of the season had I known that um, I would get it. Uh, first game of the episode against Munchen Gladbach. Um, it's away so we're going to be seeing one of the custom stadiums thankfully. We've got a change in formation and I'm just going to show you that now. Right lads, this is our formation to go ahead and base uh, Munchen Gladbach. Sorry I couldn't show you in the startup screen, I completely forgot about it. Um, it's a 4 4 1 1 formation with Morales just sitting behind Jesus. We've actually got Bahuli on the wing. See how he does there putting the crosses in. So without any further ado, let's get onto the game against Borussia Munchen Gladbach. Right lads, here we go against Borussia Munchen Gladbach. We're away, so it's going to be a tough game. To you know, if you include the fact that our form at the moment has been pretty diabolical. You know, we were fighting we were fighting against good teams such as Schalke and Borussia at Dortmund. Um, but, you know, the performances just weren't up to scratch. It wasn't that uh, they outclassed us, it was just we allowed them to outclass us. We're in a good position already, Dumbia. And we got a penalty, we've got a penalty in the fourth minute of the match. <laughs> what a start from us. Right, Gabriel Jesus is going to take it. He's going to stutter, he's going to blast it top, that was meant to go top corner, goodness sake man. Gross, give it to Gabriel Jesus, Morales, oh good ball to Guedes, Guedes, other side, who's there, it's Gross, get in, Gross puts us up 1-0 and it's a very good you know, attack and play from us, Gross easily just smashed behind, I think he's sitting just behind Gabriel Jesus. I could be wrong actually, I think he's in the midfield, but I'm not bothered. I'm keeping him there, like the run he just made there from the cross from Gabriel Jesus has put us up 1-0 despite the early missed penalty. Get in lads, that's what I like to see. To Gross, Gross has passed to Da Costa. Da Costa's found a good ball and it's Bahuli there. Bahuli put the cross in. Who's gonna get there? Sommer. Guedes, Stanzel. Morales, good save again by Sommer to Costa, over to Gross, Gross, gives it to Morales, Morales puts it wide to Gabriel Jesus who finds himself in a wide position somehow, he's put the cross in, can we win it, Gross wins it, not very cleanly though, Gabriel Jesus, Sommer gets his, it stings his hands, but it has gone out for a corner and it looks like this is going to be the last stage of the game, yep Raphael has left it, and it's gone half time. We lead 1 0 at the half. We could have led 2 0 if it wasn't for an awful penalty. Uh, I didn't mean to put it down the middle. I actually meant to stutter and put it into the top right hand corner. <laughs> it wasn't a B, but at least we've got the lead. Tell you what. Oh, he's got past two. Surely this is a second goal for us. It is. My gosh, there was a lot of luck in that run by Gabriel Jesus, but the ball just kept coming back to him and he's finessed it into the bottom corner. We lead 2 0 against Borussia Munchen Gladbach. You see that? It's a bit lucky how he still managed to get the ball after all of that. I'm um, take it though, because considering, you know, we've actually been dominant in the first half. They've actually had a good attack and we've just hit on the counter attack. Gabriel Jesus' pace. Has really just you know come out on top there against the defense. Unlucky by the defender, but he won't be like to look at back on that one in the afternoon. Gabriel Jesus puts us 2-0 up. And if we continue this, we should be you, you know, we should have a comfortable lead by the end of the game. Don Hazard plays a nice ball, nice weighted ball to Rafael. Rafael, can we we can't defend crosses, lads? It's easily, easily picked up. For I believe that was Stindl who got the head to it. And it was just awful defending from us. Can't defend crosses. I did attempt to slide there, but it was just no one was marking the man in the middle there. Number 13. And <laughs> um, we just caught ball watching, really. Yep. Hermans. Yeah, it was Stindl, I was right, but. Uh, I'm not bothered, we shouldn't have conceded that, despite they having a good attack. They've been good attacking ever since we got the second goal. But ideally, you don't want to be conceding sloppy goals like that. They've got plenty of men in the box, it's going to be hard to find a man. We have found a man, it's Dumbia! And it's 3-1! 
straight away from kickoff, Tongo Dumbia, no messing about, in the box with a powerful header that the Borussia Mönchengladbach keeper can get nowhere near. No keeper could have got anywhere near that, not even Neuer. A <laughs> beautiful header from Tongo Dumbia and it's one of his first goals of the season, I think it might be his second. But he's celebrating and that's got to secure our win, surely. Dumbia over to Gonzalo Guedes. Gonzalo Guedes cuts inside. He's in the middle here, Gonzalo Guedes. Like, 4-1 against Mönchengladbach, we haven't even put in a good performance. And we're winning 4-1, I'm, I'm confused with this game, lads. This, you know, the fact that we've been in such bad form also backs the fact that um, I'm so confused on this result. Hey, wow. Morales has got the ball, he's doing very well with it. Shoot it to Hartman. Sommer gets a hand to it, but it goes straight over him. And that pretty much sums up Borussia Mönchengladbach's game. It's 5-1 Ingolstadt. What has happened here? I, I, even I'm confused. Like, look at that. It wasn't even a powerful shot. And the keeper has made a right mess of that. I can't believe this game. What, what has happened? It's like my first career mode game in, like, absolutely ages. And that's what I, I'm confused, lads. Help me, help me. I'm so confused. Hartman gets our fifth goal, and we lead by four against Munchen Gladbach. Try to play the long, uh, along the ball cross here. We've got a chance to counter attack. We can't though. I'm not going to complain, lads. I'm not going to complain with that result at all. Um, it's a five-one win here. Away to Borussia Mönchengladbach. I was expecting it was going to be hard to come away with a draw, despite you know that was because of our recent form. But no, <laughs> no, we win five-one. Right, lads. The formation we used seemed to work pretty well, so we're going to be using the same formation in this game against Darmstadt. Uh, we're at home, so hopefully we can you know just replicate the form we did against uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Very clinical we were, and <laughs> that's why the scoreline was the scoreline it was. Yep, so that's the formation, that's the players, let's get into this game. On the left wing, going to whip a cross in, and the uh, keeper's there. Gabriel Jesus is going to take a shot, it's deflected off Jungwir. Guedes to Bahuli, Bahuli, what's he going to do? Nice dribbling from Bahuli, Guedes, goes to Jesus, and we're 1-0 up. <laughs> Tell you what, the clinical finishing from this side is like nothing it's ever been this season. We've not only been Grafton wins out, but in the 12th minute here, we lead against Darmstadt. It was very good dribbling there from Balhuli, a good ball. And that was very lucky for it to come back to us, but I'll take it. Gabriel Jesus poaches the ball and, you know, finds the bottom right corner there. Not going to complain <laughs> again with the luck we had with the ball coming back to us. Hopefully we can kick on from here, lads. Jesus, loads of space for Guedes. Surely this is two. Oh, it's a good save by Methenia. It was a tight angle, mind, and I think it might have gone in otherwise. I think it was going in. It was a good reflex save from Methenia, the Darmstadt keeper. Guns out for a corner now. Right, I'm going to try and find Dumbia. Is he anywhere near? Nope, I'm going to find Gross. Cross it into Gross. Oh my gosh, I thought the keeper was going to come out and get it. Gross was just left there. Look at this, you'd expect the keeper to actually look, like go and claim it instead of go near the ball. Very confused on that and it took me by surprise which is why we hit the bar from that shot. In the end it's gone straight into the hands of Methenia. And that's how the half will end, 1-0 at half time. Darmstadt have had a good few opportunities near the end of the uh, near the end of the half. But we've been, uh, you know, just clinical. A good goal from Jesus despite it being a bit of a, uh, you know, risk, uh, rough defending from the uh, Darmstadt defence but Gabriel Jesus has poached it, and that's the difference at the break. Dumbia. Guedes. Early cross, please. 
That was an awful early cross and start again, lads. Gross. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus off the bar. Off the bar, off the post, even. Gets in. Very happy. Gabriel Jesus has made us even more happy. <laughs> we are leading 2-0. Just after half time. Uh, we started again, it was an early cross, it was a really bad early cross, and we just played it around them. Gabriel Jesus took a touch and slammed it off the post. No way was Matenia getting anywhere near that, despite making some good saves. It was end-to-end -end in the first half. We've just made our lead much more secure in case they do get a goal back. I'm going to try and keep a clean sheet now rather than go for a third. Hubner, nice cross. Danilo to Gross. That's a good shot and Matheny has made another good save. He's been good this game. He's been unlucky considering one of them was from a uh, scrappy piece of play with the defence and one's off the post. But that's how football works. But that should be the end of the game. It is. 2-0 win against Darmstadt. A comfortable win which, you know, I would have predicted before the game we got a win here. It, Darmstadt aren't the best of sides. Neither are we to be honest. But it's a comfortable win here at home. Get the fans the worth the money. Uh, it's a very good performance from us. Two goals from Gabriel Jesus. What, uh, both of which were pretty lucky, I was going to say. Um, one was just scrappy defending from the uh, Darmstadt defence and we just pounced on it. Once again, we pounced on a uh, early cross, which was bad. But we managed to you know, play ourselves around it and Gabriel Jesus hit it off the post to get his brace. Right, lads. The final game of the episode against Hanover 96. We're away from home this time. And we've got the same players, the same formation again. It's just seeming to work very well for us. Um, yeah, <laughs> why not? But we've got to be careful. We don't want to lose this game because if we do, Hanover 96 will overtake us. They're just behind us in the league by two points. So we can afford to draw it, but ideally, you know, we want to be giving them, you know, a good game here. No, they've got plenty of space, and that was a thunder of a shot from. Sazi, Salai, or wh whoever he was, Salai, <laughs> alright, it was a thunderous shot nevertheless, it was very fast and very powerful, thankfully it was only at the side netting, Schmeider back, close to Slazai, another good shot from Slazai, was gone wider the post this time, it wasn't as strong as his last shot, Schmeider back, win that, okay fine, Coyote take, it's not a foul referee, man. Soft. Oh no, they've easily won it there. That's a nice finish by Coyote there, but that was just from a set piece and that was awful defending once again from us. I think the free kick taker might have Oh wow, it easily headed on. No one's there to uh, track the run of Coyote and it was a nice dink over the keeper from him. And they lead against us. They're going to overtake us if they, uh, you know, if this is the end result. Got to be wary now. We've got to go get a goal. Good tackle by Hubner. We'll control this just before half time. A perfect chance to get our goal back in order to make it a goal, um, you know, a draw at half time. That's not the case. Shrabich has won that. Win that, please. No. God, it's 2-0. Looks like Hanover are going to take all three points and overleap us on the table. Ah, it's not how we wanted to end the episode after starting it so well. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to do that. Unless we can find a remarkable comeback, this is how it's going to end. We have to go out all out attack for it. And, you know, there was a couple of chances where we could have got two goals. And... We would have been level at that stage. In fact, we probably would have been in front because I wouldn't have gone all out. But yeah, Sane and Ireland couldn't react quick enough. And Sane's put in the back of the net. Not taking our chances. Our defence is crap. We know that. We need to score goals in order to win games. In order to draw games. That's it, lads. Full time. It's 2 0 to Hanover. It's a 2 0 loss. Which, you know, considering the way we've played, it's a bit disappointing. We know I wanted to get a run going. Right, lad, that's going to end the episode. Um, Hanover did overtake us and now they've got 27 points due to ha um, having uh, they probably yeah I think they've uh, won the other game as well so we're going to be stuck in fifth for quite a while Borussia Dortmund are in third and Bayern Munich have taken the top 
of the table. It wouldn't have taken them long knowing the side they've got. Um, yeah, and we've just we've gone down to fifth. But if you've enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us what you thought of the episode. Um, something I'm actually deciding: should we do the uh, six games a episode um, where we do three simmed and three uh, and three live commentary? Just let me know that in the comments below because I'm actually w like want to know what you think. Um, but yeah. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you later lads.